Today I have a super easy recipe for you. I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate at home using only three ingredients. I'm gonna start with one half cup of coconut oil. And if it's colder in your house, then that coconut oil may have solidified. So just heat it up a little bit in the microwave or on the stovetop until it's completely melted like so. And then I'm gonna take a sifter or you could just use a big bowl with a whisk and then I'm going to put in powdered sugar. This is one half cup powdered sugar and one half cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. Now this is just the Hershey's brand of cocoa powder. You could also use the Dutch processed cocoa powder. And you definitely wanna use a sifter or you want to whisk it up in a separate bowl, especially because the powdered sugar and the cocoa powder can get a little lumpy. So let's just sift about half of this, tap it, and we'll sift about half of it in the bowl. And we'll come in here with a whisk. And whisk it in with that coconut oil. And let's just go ahead and sift the rest of it in there. Tap a roux on the sides. Okay, so you are just going to whisk it all together until it's nice and combined. And what you're gonna be left with is essentially a melted chocolate. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this to some molds. Okay, I have a couple different molds that I can use. And then you can just spoon it in or pour it in. I'm just gonna spoon some in here. And just do a couple of these this way because I wanna do chocolate bars for the rest of them. All right, and then this goes into the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes until the chocolate sets. And now I have my granola bar pan that I also use for chocolate bars. We'll just pour some in. Oop, it's gonna be a thick bar. Don't usually wanna make them too thick. And you could change that up a little bit depending on how sweet you want it to be. Okay, and then so into the freezer, once again into the freezer it goes for 20 to 30 minutes. And then when they come out of the freezer and the chocolate is set, you can just kind of remove them from the mold. And look at that, a nice chocolate candy. And then I want to point out that these chocolates will need to be stored in the fridge or you can store them in the freezer. Um, they will, especially if your home is warm, they will melt and get soft at room temperature. And then I have these chocolate bars and I'm just gonna pop one of these out. And there you go, pretty cool. Got a nice little chocolate bar, awesome. All right, and I just want to show you uh, this one. I'm going to just pick it up. And it breaks right in half like that. Really nice. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nice, rich, dark chocolate flavor. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm.